This movie is full of adjectives that will not only help you sound more native in English, but also sound more educated and advanced. If that's something you're interested in, keep watching. Now, for those of you who don't know, Enola Holmes is about a girl who lives in England with her mother in the 1800s. She ends up using her detective skills to go on an adventure to find her mother, who one day just disappears, poof, out of nowhere. She attempts to do this while avoiding her two older brothers, one of which happens to be the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. So I am sure you can see how crazy of an adventure this movie is, whether you've seen it or not. Let's take a look at this trailer and then we will go over some key terms found in it. My mother named me Enola, which backwards spells alone. And yet we were always together. And it was wonderful. A week ago, I awoke mother? to find that my mother was missing. I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Yes, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective, my genius brother. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. Just makes my head itch. And I have no gloves. My God. A wild woman brought up a wild child. Who will make her acceptable for society? It is time to find my mother. The game is afoot. <laughs> if I have to stay hidden from my brothers, I must become something unexpected. <gasps> A lady. Uh, come on! Unlike most well-bred ladies, I was never taught to embroider. I was taught to watch and listen. I was taught to fight. I'm coming to find you, Mother. You don't know how to embroider? I love this style of movie so much, you guys. It's the best. Now, let's use our handy dandy Fluent U program to go over some key adjectives that present themselves in the trailer. Fluent U makes it a lot faster to go through new vocabulary, so we'll be using it here today. Wonderful. Wonderful means the same thing as amazing or full of wonder, except it sounds a little more proper, a little more educated, especially if you say it with a British accent. So when the word is being used in this trailer, Enola is saying that the time with her mom was amazing. She loved the time that they spent together. And yet, we were always together. And it was wonderful. Famous. When someone is famous, it means they are well known. Actors are famous, celebrities are famous, I am famous. Just kidding, I'm not. Famous isn't only used with people though. Objects can be famous too. Like maybe there is a piece of art that is famous. Or perhaps there's a famous food recipe. Or a famous brand like Nike. In this trailer, Enola is using this adjective to describe her brother, Sherlock Holmes. If you don't know, Sherlock is a detective in a famous book series that came out in the late 1800s in England. So when Enola calls her brother Sherlock famous in the trailer, that's why. He is a very well-known detective. Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective. Genius. This is another adjective that Enola uses to describe her brother, Sherlock. Typically, genius is a noun for someone who is very smart. Like, he is a genius, she's a genius, they're all geniuses, like that. But genius can also be an adjective, which, you guessed it, describes someone who is very smart. Just like in this example from Fluent U. I want you to meet my genius professor. It's describing a professor as genius or very smart. So I can say things like, I have a genius boyfriend or my genius sister just figured out what was wrong with my laptop. Like that. 
I've been mentioning Fluent U a lot in this video, huh? And if you don't know what it is, you might be confused, right? I'm so sorry about that. Let me explain to you the program real quick. Fluent U essentially turns all forms of media from TV shows, movies, hilarious commercials, and even TED Talks and inspiring speeches into immersive language lessons. It's like what we're doing right now, except with more videos, tools, and languages. Oh, and the quizzes are the best. Try it out and come back later. I'd love to hear if it helped you. So now that you have a better understanding of what Fluent U is, let's get back to our adjectives. Wild. Wild is a pretty crazy word, and it means the same thing as crazy or weird. Wild can be used in a positive or negative way depending on how you use it. You can say, for example, that a party was wild to describe it as being really fun. On the other hand, if you say something like, you have a wild kid, that is a negative description for sure. Let's take a look at how wild is used in Enola Holmes. Is it being used in a positive way or a negative way? You tell me. A wild woman brought up a wild child. If you guessed that it was being used in a negative way, you are correct. Enola's brother, Mycroft, is saying that Enola is a wild child because she doesn't act like a proper lady. She acts quite the opposite, actually. Mycroft therefore blames Enola's mother and calls her wild too by saying a wild woman brought up a wild child. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rude. We don't like Mycroft over here. Acceptable. Doesn't that word sound so educated? I love it. Fluent U describes acceptable as being worthy of being accepted, adequate, or satisfactory. Now, I know this sounds like a lot, but let me help break it down to you with the help of Fluent U. Here we have, it is acceptable to take a break. This means that it's all good to take a break. It is accepted that taking a break is fine now. The second example we have here is, he is an acceptable candidate for the job, meaning that he is satisfactory. He looks like a great candidate for the job. Makes sense. Even if you don't fully understand it yet, Fluent U has a video dictionary full of other examples. It has tons of video examples using this exact word. Now, let's go back to the trailer. We'll make her acceptable for society. This means that Enola seems like she won't be accepted in society because of the way she behaves. So her brother Mycroft thinks that she needs to change in order to become more accepted in society. Unexpected. The definition of this word is coming without warning, not expected. We use this to describe something that just came out of nowhere or something that we did not expect to happen. For example, there was an unexpected thunderstorm. Let's listen to this word used in Enola Holmes again. I must become something unexpected. A lady. So what Enola is saying is that if she becomes a lady, her brothers won't recognize her because it's unexpected. It's not what they expect her to look like because she doesn't usually dress that way. Well-bred. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? Well-bred means well-behaving, showing good and proper manners. If someone is well-bred, they have good manners and are polite, stuff like that. This term is usually used in movies like this or in England. And we do use it in America too. Usually we just use well-bred to describe a dog though, if a dog is well-bred or not. In this movie, Enola is referring to these types of ladies, ladies with proper manners and such. Let's listen again to how exactly she uses this word in the trailer. Uh, come on. Unlike most well-bred ladies, 
I was never taught to embroider. I'm sure we can all agree that Enola Holmes is not a proper, well-bred lady. She wasn't taught things that were normal for women to do back in that time. But that's what makes her so extraordinary, right? I honestly really want to be able to fight like her, whether I'm described as well-bred or not. I want that skill. If you want to review all of the vocabulary that I went over in this video, be sure to download the free FluentU PDF in the description box below. And if you want another video that helps you learn English with movies, you've got to check on this video right over there. It's got tons of information in there and I think you'll really enjoy it. See you over there!